Hello, welcome to Linux Help Tutorial. Today we can see how to set up the Open VPN server in CentOS 7. So at first, VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, which is a technology solution for internet security and privacy. So for this setup, I have taken two machines. One is CentOS 7, which acts as a Open VPN server, and the second one is CentOS 6, which acts as a client for that Open VPN server. Now we have to install open VPN package and before that we have to install Apple release package. So now we are using the m command. Once the Apple release package is installed, now we have to install open VPN and easy RSA packages. So now m install open vpn and ec or sa and the configuration file is located in user share and in the document and inside that you can see the open vpn with its version so and inside the directory you can see the sample directory and inside that sample config hyphen files so in that directory you can see the server.conf file so now we have to copy the server.conf file to etc open vpn directory so i am just copying this uh, server.conf file to etc open vpn So now the file is copied to etc open vpn directory so on the next step is we are going to generate the key and certificates so now i am going to create one directory in open vpn server so make directory or sa so once the rsa directory is created I'm going to copy the whole contents of ECRSA to this RSA directory. So the command is cp hyphen rf and the source is located in user share and ec hyphen rsa and inside that you can see 2.0 and inside that I need to copy whole so I'm mentioning star and the destination is etc open VPN and inside that or SA directory so now the whole contents of easy RSA is copied to etc open VPN or SA directory and now we have to generate the key and certificates so we have to go to the path view etc open vpn and inside that rsa and vars so inside that file you can see the contents to be modified so in this configuration file i have edited to the needs of my server so I have mentioned the key country as India and key city as Chennai and the key organization as linuxhelp.com and the key mail key email as testmail at gmail.com and in this configuration field you can change the export key size export CA expire size and export key expire size also according to your need once the setup is done just save the file and quit it so now we have to export the variables and their values to the current environment using the source command so the command is source space dot slash vars so while running this command it will intimate us that the etg open uh, vpn or uh, that is the keys will be removed from the server so and the command is ran we have to run dot slash clean all So it will start cleaning up the other setups so now we have to run a script called certificate authority script so to run that script 
dot slash b u i l d hyphen c a so now the script will be started so in that script it will ask for the confirmation about the configuration we made in the previous configuration file so once the setup is done you can list the keys so there you can see the newly generated ca.crt and ca.key files and now we are going to create the key and the certificate for the whole server itself so for that the script is build hyphen key hyphen server space server Once the matches are found to be correct, it will ask for the confirmation to activate the certificate and you need to give S. And once the certificate is certified, it will ask for the commit confirmation and once again we are giving to S. And now the database will be updated. And next we are going to generate the dh file which is used for information exchange to complement RSA keys. Uh, while creating this file, while running this command it will create a file called dh2048.perm inside the keys directory. So for that the script is build hyphen dh. So once the dh script is done I am going to keys folder and inside that key folder you can list you can see that the uh, key is generated uh, in ca.crt file and uh, uh, key generated file is linux.1.crt and linux.1.csr and linux.1.key and dh2048.pem file also generated so now i am doing is just copying ca.crt file and linux help.1.crt file and linux help.1.key file and dh dh2048.pem file to my etc open vpn directory so now it's copied to the directory so now you can check it over here so there you can see the files are transferred to open vpn folder so, and now i'm going to restore the sc linux settings for that the command is restore C O N hyphen R V and ETC open VPN. Sorry, it's restore con. So now the SLNX settings that is security for SLNX is restored. And now, once again, we are going to edit the server.conf file. So I'm going to server corner file and in that file it's mentioned that the certificate file is server.crt so we have to change the certificate file to linux help dot one dot crt and i'm changing the key file also to linux help dot one dot key So once the setup is done, just save and quit the file. So once the server.conf file is edited, now we have to enable the open server service. So the command is systemctl and forcefully I am enabling enable open vpn at server dot service so now it's enabled and i'm going to start the vpn service and and it seems to be the open vpn service is started so now we can check the open vpn services status and i'm giving the status 
and it seems that OpenVPN service is running perfectly and it don't seem any error so once the server side configuration is completed now it's time to configure the client side so at first we have to copy the keys generated in the OpenVPN main server and the keys to be copied to the client server so at first go into the ECRSC key folder and there we have to run source dot slash VAR script source dot slash VOS script and again running the build key script so the script is dot slash build hyphen key script and I'm naming the client server here so I'm naming my my client one so now the script is to be run to create a key for my client one so I'm giving the answers so there you can see the common name is changed to my client one so now I am accepting the all answers so now the key is generated and after the password is set the certificate will be certified so now I am going to keys directory and in that directory you can see my client onecrt and my client onecrt file is generated so we need to copy this file to the uh, client machine and uh, we have to activate this key there so I'm just copying this ca.crt and my client onecrt and my client onecrt file to my uh, client machine now these files are located in the root folder that is slash etc so now I have to transfer this file to the local directory I'm just copying ca.crt file and my client one dot crt file and my client one dot key file to home user one and downloads so now these files are transferred to this directory and now I am going to the respective directory downloads so there you can see these files are copied here you can see my client one dot key file have limited uh, permission so we have to change the permission to execute in my client machine so ch mode I am giving permission 644 to my client one dot key file so now the permission has been changed and in that download file you can see the three files is copied so I am taking this 5.69 machine as a client my client machine and now I am going to transfer these three files to my client machine so now we can check we can connect to the client machine I am just pinging 192.168.5.69 so you can see that we can connect to the client machine and we can check it from client machine ping 192.168.5.212 so it seems that the client machine also can connect to the server machine so now I am transferring these three files to my client machine using rsync command and ca.cat file my client dot crt file and my client dot key file to the client machine through user one and the ip is 168.5.69 and inside that home user one and in that open vpn cli ent client which is created by me and the password is given the files are transferred to the client machine so here you can check inside the open vpn client and there you can see the three files are transferred so now i have to create one ovpn file here so i am creating touch my client dot ovpn so you can see the file is created now i am opening my file my client dot ovpn and I need to configure here and these are the contents to be added in this configuration file 
Here I have mentioned the device as tunneling and the prototype as UDP and the remote server is IP and the default open VPNs uh, port number that is 1194 and some contents and I have mentioned here the ca.crt as the key file and my client onecrt and my client onecrt file. Once the setup is made here, just save the file and quit it. And we have to do two more configuration in server side. So I'm going to server machine. So there, I'm going to open etc sysctl dot corner file. So there, I have to add one line. That is net dot ipv4 dot ip underscore forward is equal to one and saving this file uh, by loading this contents in this ctl dot corner file it will make the centwise 7 uh, server as a router to connect through many client machines and you can view the contents in this file through sysctl space hyphen p it will show the contents in the inside this configuration file and in server i'm going to create one more file in etc pam.d open vpn so now the file is created and now i'm going to open this file and i have to add some contents here and these are the contents to be added in this file and once it's done you can save and quit the file and now I'm going to edit the open VPN configuration that is the server.conf file and in that file I'm going to the last line and there I have to add one line which is so this is the line to be added at last and once the line is added just quit and save the file and once again I'm going to the same server.conf file and I'm going to add one line here yes. push and in double quotes I have to give route and 192.168.10.0 and the subnet mask dot zero and here you can see the client to client and we have to uncomment this line so while uncommenting this line it will make to or oh, it will make the client to connect each other instead of only seeing so once the setup is done just save and quit the file once all the setup is done, we have to restart system CTL restart open VPN at server dot service. So now we can check the status of open VPN server status and it seems to be like it works perfectly. So now it's time to connect from client to server open VPN. So now I'm going to open VPN folder created in user one and inside that open VPN and my client dot OVPN. And before that I need to say is uh, we have to install open VPN also in client machine. Uh, we can install just using m install open VPN. So once the installation is done, we have to just give open VPN and the dot OVPN configuration file. So here you can see the error uh, in this configuration file in ca.crtlen. So, <coughs> so now we can have a look at configuration file. I'm opening that configuration file my client dot OVPN and in that I have missed some keywords here so before ca.crt we have mentioned ca and my client.crt before that we have to mention cert and before this key file we have to mention key 
so that's all for the setup and to save the file and quit it and now I'm trying to connect to the server machine so it will ask for the username and I have mentioned the username as root and the password for the username that is root and once the password is given you can see that the client machine is successfully connected to the server so now we can check the reflection to be reflected in the client machine which is made in the server machine so now I am going to the server machine and here I am going to add one user as Linux 1 and I am setting the password for Linux 1 user that is 123 password and once the user is created now I am connecting to the VPN with the newly created user in server that is Linux 1 and it will ask for the password and I am giving 123 you can see that the user from Linux 1 is connected from client to server thus the open VPN is installed and configured from uh, Linux client machine to CentOS 7 server machine thank you